Hey everyone, it's me Willow and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, it has been a long time coming, but I'm finally going to be doing another cosplay video. Yes! It feels so good, but yeah, it's just, I love cosplay. Everybody that I know knows me, knows that I love it, because it's like, why not? Like, you get to become the character that you love. It's just, it's very expensive, and I also don't have places to wear these things to. I usually make them for movie events, and this is the one reason why I'm making this cosplay, is for a movie. But, yeah, I just, I don't have the opportunity to go to the cop, like, um, Comic Cons and stuff, which is really unfortunate, but hopefully in the future I'll be able to go more. I've gone to one, which was really fun, very small event, but it was still fun. But yeah, so to move on to the cosplay, this is a previous cosplay I've done before, and I have the outfit, but I'm just updating it. So this is my um, Star Trek Ahura cosplay, and I love Ahura, and I'm so excited for the new Star Trek Beyond movie, which comes out, I believe it's July 20th, um, which is in about two weeks, so I have about two weeks to, to adjust this costume, which shouldn't that be that hard, because I have all the pieces and stuff, um, and I'm just updating it. So, back in 2013, which was like, whoa, like three years ago, I made this costume like last minute. This was when I first started getting into cosplay, and I made this for Star Trek Into Darkness for that movie premiere. So, this is it. I'll show you it. These two pieces right here. Um, ignore that black piece. But these two pieces, so this is the top, and this is the skirt that I went with it. This was when I first started cosplaying. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I loved it. Like, I had an idea of what I wanted to do and I wanted to make this costume. So I made it the best I could. So I went to Goodwill. I still do this, like go to Goodwill and buy the pieces that are very similar and alter it. So I just bought this and I believe it was a long sleeved turtleneck and I cut the turtleneck off and you can see very badly rough cut of the turtleneck and of the sleeves. They are so rough and the sleeves don't even match up. I didn't even have the inkling to like fold the piece over and cut them equally. No, I just kind of went with it and I don't know how I'm gonna fix this because these are very close to the edge but I'm gonna do it the best I possibly can. This emblem's already on so I don't need to do anything with the emblem. This skirt, these only oh, kind of annoys me that these are like two completely different shades but um, I'm just gonna live with it because I don't really want to go out and buy a new one. But this skirt is, is way too big and I did safety pins to safety pin this. And I remember this top is way too big too so I'm gonna have to take this in. Um, and the last time I wore this costume for the black like turtleneck piece underneath, I have, oh it's kind of similar to this, like a black see-through blouse that's like buttoned up. Um, I had turned that backwards and I popped the collar up and and like it was long sleeves so I roll the sleeves up and that was like the turtleneck part but now after years of buying new clothes and stuff I have this top which is a short sleeve black turtleneck and it works perfectly may have to roll the sleeves up just a tiny bit because these sleeves will probably be short and it may show at the back or something but this works perfectly so these all together and then some black boots they will be different boots than I had the last time which I really really liked they were like real combat boots that I had before but my feet have grown so I don't have them anymore so I'll just use my black rain boots that I use for everything else and then I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair I don't know if I'm going to just do it in a like a, a sleep ponytail like she's had in the last couple movies and how I wore the last time or if I'm going to do her half updo which she has in this movie. I don't know. Also in this, this is um, just like a general um, Organa, um, not Organa, that's Star Wars, a general um, Ahura tutorial. So this is not beyond like Star Trek Beyond tutorial because her costume is completely different it's like a red popped collar as long with the turtleneck and it's long sleeve and there's like added gold detail and everything so this is not that tutorial this is just kind of like an in general Star Trek outfit I'm just using Ahura because that's the character that I go as like I base it off of 
but yeah, so I don't think I'm going to do anything tonight, but I'm going to probably start tomorrow with the alterations and stuff. It shouldn't take too long. I think the hardest thing for me, which will probably be, is um, adjusting the shirt to make it not so baggy and more form-fitting, because I don't really know how to do that. I don't think I can do that on the seam, so I'm just probably going to go with it. <laughs> but yeah, so next clip will be me probably um, doing this another day I'm um, figuring out but okay hopefully you can sort of see me but for my Star Trek top I am measuring the V line of how much to take the V line in and the back of the top so like the back of the neck and what I did for this the V um, neckline I marked along both sides about half an inch so I'm going to mark a half inch and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in um, to those marks and then pin it so I know where to sew and then for this one for the back I did half of a half inch so not half an inch so I did half an inch but half of that <laughs> hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about for that one same thing I'll fold it over and pin it so I'll show you guys what it looks like after I done so this is what the back looks like, the back neck. So remember this is inside out, so none of your seams will look bad. But just have it pinned along there. And I actually decided not to pin the V because I realized the V is not centered. And I don't know if it's going to be centered when I pin the sides. So I decided to pin the sides first before I do the V, just to make sure if I try to make the V centered, that it will be centered after if taken it in. So I did, I just put it on and I pinned it to my body shape. And you can tell, and this is a very big shirt. I just pinned it all the way down and I pinned for where my armpits were so the closest the one at the top is the one that is where my armpit is and then this is just all along I kind of made it a little bit um, wider at the bottom so it's not super hard to get in and out of besides that that is all the pinning that I'm doing for now so the next time you see this I will be sewing it okay so I have sewn parts of my top so I've sewn the sides and I've sewn the neck the back neck part and I'm going to say I by the end of this I'm not going to be as happy as I thought I was going to be with this because my sewing machine it just it just doesn't sew it's just not very well I don't know if it's just because it's old or it's because I don't know enough about sewing machines to know the right stitch and tension and stuff but my needles um, not my needle, my thread keeps breaking and my thread just keeps um, gathering up and making the worst sounds ever and I got so frustrated I was trying to work with it for an hour this morning just to try and figure out the right type of stitch like width to use on my thing and I didn't even get to actually sewing on my top so I went with the old fashion way <laughs> and hand stitched and I can tell you I'm just I'm not, just not super happy with the hand stitching because it's noticeable and it's not as strong because with a sewing machine you can get a really clean line that barely anybody notices your seam but with hand stitching, hand stitching can be one stitch can be really bigger than the other one and yeah so I'm not 100% happy the neck one's okay like I can live with it this is hopefully you can see it well enough here but that's the inside out part and that's what it will look like on the outside so obviously this is not a huge problem I went with black thread because the only red thread I had was really orangey and not like a cranberry color like this one it had orange undertones and not purple undertones so I decided to just go with black because black simple and nobody will really care and my hair may be down for sometimes and nobody will be looking at my back so that's it this is the sides I don't know if I I may have gone a little bit bigger than the actual ones but I wanted to make sure that in case like I need to make it smaller like I just went bigger stitching just in case so I did two 
stitches, I started at the bottom and I went all the way up to the where the original um where the original armpit goes, I stitched all the way up there and then I stitched back down and tied it off. Did that on both sides. It was a little hard because it's stretchy fabric, but hopefully it stays well enough. Um, like I said, hand stitching isn't the most sturdiest because obviously you can see the stitches. Hopefully when I put it on it's not that noticeable because I did like kind of fold it together so it'll be like this type of stitch, but I don't know. I'm going to try it on and let you guys I'm actually super happy with how the shirt turned out. Like I said, I was worried about the hand stitching because it's not as a clean stitch as with the sewing machine, but it actually turned out okay. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well because it's dark lighting and stuff, but that is the stitch. It actually is pretty clean. There's a couple spots like there and a couple on the other side where you can actually see like the black thread but it actually turned out super nice and I'm actually super happy with how clean and form-fitting the top turned out to be I'm very happy with it I'm just oh, astounded with how lucky I got with the with the seams for the hand stitching that I did um, but yeah so the next part I'm going to work on is the V because when I look in the mirror it looks so bad. It is so off. So I'm going to work on the V. And then the sleeves are going to be probably the biggest part now. I thought this part, the taking it in was going to be hard. But salvaging these sleeves, I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out because I love Star Trek. And I love this costume. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going to work on the V now. So I readjusted the V shape. Mind all of this wetness because I accidentally threw in pen on the good side of my fabric. So now it's kind of leaked everywhere and hopefully that stain will be able to get out. I may actually use stain remover to get it out. But here is the new V shape. It's centered now. I may have to fix the, the point of the V a little bit. But pretty happy with it. I aligned, I folded this over in half and I lined the two stitches for where the top of the sleeve starts. And then I just pinned along here and just so it stayed stable. And then on the one side that was cut bigger, like that was opened bigger, I measured to the other side and then just cut that one. And I made sure that the point was centered, so angled them downwards. So it's going to be a little bit of bigger neck hole, but that's what I'm going to get if I want it to be straight and even. And it tried it on and it looks okay. Um, right now it's still kind of wonky, but I'm going to think when I fold it over to hem it, it's going to look better. So like before I was said, I believe this is a half inch. I'm not 100% sure. It was in my last, a couple clips ago um but yeah i'm just going to pin this and then i don't know what i'm going to do for um sewing because the only one thread that i've been using is that black thread over there and i don't have a matching color thread here so i may actually have to go out and get some yeah. okay so i've done the b i've pinned it um i think i'm gonna wait and go out and try and get some similar colored um thread so it actually looks okay and it blends in so I just folded it over so it's hemmed and stuff it will it doesn't look exactly folded over right now but when it starts stitching like I'll know so just pinned it down and here was the trickiest part because it wasn't exactly um going into a v shape so I had to actually cut some of it and then fold it inwards so when I sew it I will sew up here where this pin is so that it's actually a v-shape so hopefully that will turn out now i'm going to actually try and work on the sleeves as best as possible so i just pinned them and i'm going to cut all this excess stuff off just cut it so most the majority of the sleeves are the same length now with this sleeve i cut right down to the seam so that 
Unless I take some, oh, maybe I could take some excess and sew it onto here. That's actually a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. So yeah, just going to cut this part off. So I cut the sleeve, so they're now about the, sort of about the same size. This sleeve is definitely smaller and than this side, you can tell, um, because this didn't have that much fabric to begin with. So I have started to pin some fabric um, to make this sleeve better. So I took some excess fabric that was cut off and I pinned the two good sides together and then I'm going to stitch that and then this sleeve will be longer and then I can hem all of the sleeve together. And I'm going to take some excess fabric and do it down here as well. Um, just so it's even to this sleeve. But yeah, kind of happy with how the sleeves are going to turn out hopefully. Um, but obviously then I'll hem them so it's like a clean edge. Okay, so because the majority of my top is done, and I can't do anything else with my top until I have the, the right colored thread, I'm going to start working on the skirt. So my skirt is too big, and I have been using a like, safety pin to hold it together. So I'm going to take this safety pin out, and then I'm going to measure it to my body, and then take one of the side seams and seam rip it open so I can then readjust it to my body. So I actually decided not to seam rip it because there's this other layer underneath, like there's two layers and I don't know what to do with this layer. And then there's a waistband that doesn't have a seam going up it. So I decided just to do it I was doing my, my shirt. So I just pinned it at the waist and then pinned it all the way down and I'm just gonna sew it from the inside out. So pin inside out and sew inside out. And then, yeah. So I made the skirt fit. It is a little wonky if you can see that. That is my seam line. It is not very straight. And I only sewed together this, there's two layers. I only sewed together this layer, the front layer. And I left this layer undone. So now it's kind of all bunched up there. So I don't know if I'll cut that off or whatever. But it fits now. Like, I don't have to use a safety pin to make it fit to my waist. But it looks okay. It's just a little bunchy. And this seems not the best. But it works okay. So all I have to do left is fix my top. Okay, so I think the last thing I said was that I was fixing the skirt and then I finished that. So I finally got the right color thread to do the neckline and the sleeves. So I'm finished the neck. You can see, basically goes down into a V. This side's much more cleaner and straight and this side's kind of oval, like rounded a little bit, but I'm just gonna leave it. If I have extra time, maybe I'll fix it. But I'm just going to leave it for now because it did take a really, really long time to hand stitch this. And it only did one stitch line. I didn't do two like I usually do. But I'm happy with it besides that kind of curve. And so this is all taken in. And this is done. The neck is done. Just have to do the sleeves. Um, they look okay. Just have to hem them and then sew them. And then the costume's done. Ah, almost done. So excited to be done. Okay, so I have officially finished my Star Trek cosplay. And I'm very happy that I'm done. I'm going to see the movie tonight at 6.30. So I have a couple of hours to just lay around and then finally actually start getting ready, dressed up and everything. Which is also going to be a video. It will be linked down below eventually. Um, these videos kind of are coming out later than I wanted them to come out just because, well, I went on vacation earlier than I was supposed to be, so I didn't finish this video until I came back from vacation, which was yesterday. Um, so I just finished the costume, and so I finished the stitching on the sleeves, which I'll show you guys because I haven't shown you at all. I did this in the car while I was, um, well, we were driving to our vacation and so this is just like 
um, the inside, so I sewed, hemmed it about half an inch, I believe, or no, half of a half an inch all around the sleeve. Also, I added, um, ooh, this kind of, it's a little bunched up. Ooh, I'm going to have to fix that. But um, I added extra underneath um, the armpits, extra fabric because it wasn't, it wasn't long enough. And then here's the other side. Hemmed as well. And that's what it looks like on the other side. Very clean line. Very happy. And I guess I'll just try the costume on so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what my finished costume looks like. You can definitely see the different two colors of the top and the skirt. But it looks okay. I was put it, I was going to put it on and I was expecting it to look really, really good. And I'm not super happy with it. Um, this sleeve is messed up. The stitching is all bunched up. And I don't have time to restitch it because I have an hour to get ready. And it's all bunched up and tight. Then this one is super loose. And it's shorter than this sleeve, and this is kind of loose, and I feel like I look very frumpy around here, and not really, like, I feel like it, yeah, it just makes me look frumpy. And then this is not as tight and, like, as solid as it should look, so this is definitely not con ready if I ever decide to wear this. It is... I'll live with it tonight for the movie because I'm just going to go to the movies and sit there and just enjoy myself. But if I ever end up wearing this to a con, I definitely need to do more work on it to make myself happy with how it looks because it looks okay. Like, you got the symbol. You could definitely tell it's Star Trek and nobody's, like, the nice people aren't going to care about the detail. But me, being a perfectionist, definitely care that it's not to part, definitely with the sleeves, the neckline, it's not how I want it, and the rest of it just makes me look frumpy. But I've decided that I'm actually going to wear my hair half up, half down, how Ahura has her hair in this film, so that will be in my tutorial for getting ready, which should be up in the next week or so. Um, I've also painted my nails black, which I'm going to mention in the video because Ahura has her nails black, and I'm going to be wearing my black rain boots. Um, I'll show you them. So those are my rain boots. Um, and that's what it look those look like. Um, I'll show you a quick little look of the entire thing. So that's my costume and my cosplay tutorial. Um, it was very simple, like I said at the beginning of the video, just an alteration video, but obviously if you are going to make a full-on Star Trek costume, you can just use this to how your discretion of how much you want to take from what I've done. Um, if you want to buy two separate pieces and just alter them to your size from a thrift store like I did, or, I don't know, just, I am just made this video because I wanted to, and I know you guys like my cosplay videos, so yeah, that's why I made it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if you liked it, please like it, and leave comments down below of what you guys, um, what cosplay do you guys want me to do, or suggestions you have for this cosplay that I've done, and yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.